Hey, what's up? It's Nikki Bra. Today's topic of favorite again, testosterone. Testosterone is on a decline every single decade. And I have bad and good news for you. The bad news is obviously that it's on a decline. And overall population is getting less and less hormones. So testosterone is declining for men. Estrogen prolactin is declining for women. So male sexual hormones drop for men and female sexual hormones drop for women. What does that mean? Less health, less performance, less life quality. Men are less confident, women are less feminine and so on. The good news is if you know how to handle the situation, if you know how to keep the testosterone as a man and the female hormones as a woman, well, then you have an advantage because for all the others it drops, but for you, it stays the same or increases. So in this video, I will give you, in my opinion, three main reasons why the sexual hormones, so let's say testosterone for men and estrogen for women, why they drop. Okay, reason number one why it drops is because of the food quality. Obviously, food quality is also dropping decade after decade after decade. So there's less minerals, <clears throat> less nutrients in your food. So if you compare, let's say, a potato from nowadays on average to a potato 50 years ago, a potato nowadays has less minerals, less nutrients. So, and obviously people eat a lot more and more junk food, eat more and more fast food because they're working, they have no time to watch out for their nutrition and food. So they eat whatever is fast and fast is most of the time for average people is bad because there are just no nutrients. And as we, alre as we already know, if there's no nutrients, then we lack the building blocks to build high complex structures like sexual hormones. So reason number one is because of the food quality, because people do not get the proper building blocks. Reason number two is because overall environment so nowadays people move into the cities um, bad ecology lots of stress fast-paced lifestyle alcohol drugs and so on so obviously when you're out of the city in the nature you have fresh air lots of sun slow pace life low stress lots of happiness this is obviously very good for your health and meaning if you have such a lifestyle where there is no emissions, no electromagnetic emissions, for example, all the time phone in your pockets, um, lots of particles from the vehicles, um, this is obviously very bad for health and also hormones. Reason number three is a mental reason. Nowadays, as you know, it's considered, well, bad if you're high testosterone men um it's called like toxicity it means like um you're uh, a danger for someone you know if you have high testosterone so there's like a consensus out there that already basically says that it's even bad to have high testosterone as a man so this is why everything gets like a gray sludge basically uh men get more and more female hormones and lower male hormones and females get more and more male hormones and less female hormones. So obviously this is not natural and this is why lots of people get depression, mental problems because this state of hormones will get to your mind basically, will have an impact on your thinking, will have an impact on your mood, will have an impact on your energy and on your health obviously. Because if you're a man, you have high testosterone, you're confident, you're healthy, immune system runs as it should. Um, so nowadays, even the mindset, the overall consensus says that it's even bad to have high testosterone as a man. So, for example, when um, shit hits the fan, uh, if you're confident, if you uh, know how to do decisions, um, this is, well, not everywhere and not always, but there's like a tendency that uh, where you can see that it's considered bad even. So, 
there are lots of tendencies nowadays where good things start people start saying okay this is bad you know when it comes to nutrition when it comes to lifestyle so the overall consensus is like oh it's okay to be second place it's okay okay to be fourth place you don't need first place you don't need to win so there's less and less aggression less and less urgency so when i talk about aggression it's not like i'm going to punch you in the face it's more like less and less drive in life because people say oh it's okay to be average it's okay to lose some time so this overall mindset of being uh, of of average being okay <clears throat> reflects on hormones because if you aim for number one then naturally your testosterone will go up because your body will react to this situation your body will react to okay, I have to win, I'm going to war and I have to win this war, your body will automatically send out signals to your body to increase your testosterone. So as people get less and less signals for winning, for going to war and conquering something, people live a comfortable life, there's no urgency for them anymore. So nowadays... Our life gets more comfortable, gets more pink, more rainbows, more unicorns. And this is why there is no urgency for your body to increase testosterone as a man and female hormones as a woman. So these are the three main reasons, in my opinion, why testosterone is dropping on a yearly level. So reason number one is because nutrient density of the food is dropping. More and more soy lecithin is used in the food. More and more palm oil is used in the food. So very, very cheap ingredients are used that raise inflammation, that directly lower your, your hormone levels, basically. So the soy lecithin will directly uh, decrease your testosterone. You may have a look in your supermarket. Check 95% of the groceries on the back side, you will see soy lecithin and this directly directly decreases your testosterone you will find it 95 percent or 95 percent of the packaged groceries reason number two is overall environment people live in the cities it's very cancerogenic it's very toxic because of the emissions electromagnetic emissions fine particles um, lots of stress fast-paced lifestyle drugs alcohol and so on concrete jungle no sunlight no fresh air. So this is reason number two. And reason number three is mindset that nowadays it's even said it's toxic to have a high testosterone mindset. It's toxic to be confident. As a man, it's toxic to be a man. As a woman, it's bad to be a real woman. So less aggression in life, less urgency, more pink unicorns and rainbows, comfortable life, no urgency. And these are the main three reasons um, why sexual hormones and testosterone are dropping year after year after year. There has been a huge decline the last 25 years. A huge decline, especially, you know, when the internet era came. Huge decline in testosterone. What are basically the effects of declining hormones is higher depression rates, bad physique, lots of fat on a man, no confidence, um, just low quality of life, low libido, um, low life expectancy, um, bad fertility, so sperm count and sperm quality decreases also measured the last 25 years that um, men... Uh, get lower and lower and lower quality sperm so these are the bad bad side effects of it but like i said the good news is when you know what you're doing when you know how to keep the hormones up when you know how to even increase your hormones naturally then it will be easier for you because for everyone else it's dropping but for you it's increasing so it's like you have less opponents you know it's like you're the diamond uh, compared to the pebble basically in this situation you have less opponents so to say and if you want to increase your hormones if you want to kind of fight this tendency and say no i'm not okay with this i'm not okay with decreasing hormones i want to have high quality uh, of life 
I want to be fit. I want to be energetic. I want to have a good mood. I don't want to get any mental problems. I want to um, decrease the chance of uh, any autoimmune disease later in life. Then you should watch out for your hormones. And if you need help with this, you can message me anytime on my social media. For example, Instagram, Nikki Bra, at Nikki Bra, or check my page, NikkiBra.com. You can just leave me a message. Let me know what the problems are and I will check your situation. Come back to you within 12 hours and I will see how I can help you. And I will make sure that for you, there will be no decline in hormones because people call me God of hormones for a reason. Because yes, I know something about immune system. Yes, I know something about physiology. Yes, I know something about mechanics, but my real expertise is hormones and endocrinology, nutrition and training. So if you need help with this, like I said, just message me anytime and I will get back to you and help you very, very fast. So there is no option of decline of your sexual hormones, whether you're a man or a woman. When you're a man, I will guarantee that you get higher and higher testosterone. If you're a woman, I will guarantee that you will get higher and higher estrogen levels which is very important. If you want to be feminine, you need high female sexual hormones. If you want to be a real man, confident, lots of muscle, strong, energetic, you need high level of male sexual hormones. So like I said, if you need help, just message me anytime. And thank you for, for watching and see you in the next video.